when using the Adjust Material Definition tool, patterns can be selected from the drop-down of available patterns from the library by creating a pattern from the image texture, importing a PAT file, or you can draw your own patterns. In this video, we'll look at the process of creating and editing a custom pattern. From the CAD menu is the Pattern tool. When you create a new pattern, the program will prompt you for a name, width, height, and then the horizontal and vertical offsets. It will then open up a new pattern CAD window where you can create your custom pattern using the CAD tools. The library browser will also open with this pattern saved. Images can be imported into the pattern editing window for the purposes of tracing over the image. For this example, I'll use the circle tool and draw a few varying size circles. Then I will turn off the image layer. As I zoom out, you can see how the pattern repeats. This preview can be toggled on and off. There are additional tools you can use to resize the pattern's canvas size, add pattern layers, and infinite lines. With pattern layers, you can stack the pattern lines on top of one another. This might aid you in drawing a more complex pattern. There's an infinite line tool that you can use in your patterns. All the CAD drawn for the patterns will be on the CAD default layer. You can change items to another layer. However, when you reopen the pattern file, those objects will revert to the CAD default layer. When I close the pattern window, the program will prompt me to save. Once it is saved, the preview in the library browser will be updated. Then, using the Adjust Materials Definition tool, I can browse to the library in my user folder and select the custom pattern to apply it to my backsplash. To further edit the pattern file, you can right click on it, use the edit button, and make any edits you need to to the pattern file. Any CAD that you have drawn, like these lines, can be selected and converted to a pattern with the Create Pattern tool in the lower edit menu. Once named, it will be stored in the library as a pattern file. To apply this pattern to the backsplash, I'll repeat the process with the Adjust Materials Definition tool, browse to the library in my user folder, and then select the custom diamond pattern. For a large backsplash, this pattern may be overly busy. In that case, I'll use the CAD box, draw a box, then browse out to the library, select the diamonds that I just added to the library as the fill style, then I'm going to shape the box to be irregular, and then open up the box, and on the line style, I'm going to come in and simply remove the line style for a little cleaner look. One final way to get a pattern file into the program is underneath the file menu, under import, is the option to bring in a pattern file. These are typically from AutoCAD, maybe a little older style file. If you have any of these, you can use the import and then bring those into Chief Architect.